Hello. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to properly replace the cartridge shaft seal on our Grenfoss CR models 95 to 255. The procedure for this process can be found in the Grenfoss instructions CR, CRN 95 to 255, 50 to 60 hertz service instructions. Prior to doing any mechanical work on the pump, we recommend that you put on the needed PPE, personal protection equipment, and make sure that the pump is isolated and not under any pressure. And also make sure that you follow any needed safety precautions and the proper lockout and tagout procedures. Here's some of the special service tools that will be required for this process. We've highlighted the ones that you'll need for replacing the seal. With that, let's get started. We'll begin by removing the coupling guards using the T26 Torx driver. I've already removed the rear coupling guard just to save time for this video. Here you can see the shaft seal spacer tool, which we'll be using later. Next, we'll use an eight millimeter hex tool to remove the M10 coupling bolts, rotate the coupling, and remove the other two bolts. Remove the coupling halves. If the coupling is stuck to the shaft, you may need to use a screwdriver to pry the coupling halves off. On some occasions, you may need to use a rubber mallet to remove the opposite coupling. Loosen the three three millimeter shaft seal securing Allen screws. Be very careful not to loosen them too much because if they fall out, they're nearly impossible to find. Then we'll rotate the shaft. Loosen the second one. Rotate it one more time. And we'll loosen the third. Remove the pin from the shaft. Then using service tool A, we'll begin loosening the cartridge seal and turning counterclockwise, then reinserting the tool as needed until the coupling is loose enough to rotate the cartridge seal by hand. Remove the tool. Then we'll lift the seal out of the pump and put it in a recycling bin. Then clean and smooth the shaft using service tool E with the emery cloth supplied with the shaft and seal kit. Before we reinsert the new shaft seal, we're going to want to lubricate the lower o-ring with the liquid that's compatible with the materials on the o-ring. This will prevent any damage to the o-ring in the shaft seal, putting it on the shaft to the pump. Install the shaft seal on the shaft and press it home against the pump head cover. Then tighten the shaft seal hexagon nut. Then we'll reinsert service tool A. And then we'll tighten it to the specified torque. We'll remove the tool. Then we'll reinsert the pin back in the shaft. Then we'll begin installing the coupling halves. Make sure that you line up the hole in the bottom of the coupling with the pin. Also, some motors have keyways. For those, the keyway should be centered in one of the coupling halves. We'll put on the back one. We'll put on the front half. We've already applied a light machinery oil to the coupling bolts. Put the first two bolts in loosely in the coupling halves. Rotate the coupling and loosely install the other two bolts. Then tighten the three three millimeter set screws in slight increments, keeping the engagement depth approximately the same until fully engaged and the torque has been achieved. Then torque them to the desired torque. Now very important, failure to properly torque the screws can cause the screws to back out and cause seal leak and shaft damage. Now we're gonna grab out our spacer tool. Using a crowbar, carefully lift the shaft upward only enough to slide the spacer in. Lifting too much will damage the seal. Now we've inserted the shaft seal spacer tool between the collar seal and the hex nut. Remove the crowbar. Next, we'll use an eight millimeter hex head tool and tighten and torque the coupling halves in an X pattern. Then remove the spacer tool and then spin the shaft freely by hand. Proceed only if the shaft spins freely. If the shaft does not spin freely, Stop and start the process over again, inspecting the components for any cause of binding. Place the shaft seal spacer tool back on one of the coupling guards. And we'll reinstall the coupling guards. And then using a torque screwdriver, either with a T26 or a slotted head, torque those to four newton meters. one back on the back. And 
and we've completed the process. We hope you found this short video useful, and thank you.